What's going on everybody? It's your boy Felony back again with a new Weebull video. This time we'll be covering the new update regarding the Turbo Trader. Once was an active trader, now it is called the Turbo Trader. And let me break down why. So, first things first, let's hop into it. This is Weebull for those who may not know. If you're interested in what Weebull is, how to set it up or what it entails, check out one of my other videos. But today we're specifically going to talk about the new updates, right? So our main screen here, this is going to be the markets page where you can pretty much see an overview of the market, what's going on, where it's going on. And you get a great overview from top gainers to losers, stocks at highs, lows, near highs, lows, new IPOs, everything in between is here for us on this main page. Now, what I want to get into is the actual widget creating your own platform here essentially in terms of the customization right so if you're going to go over here to the left you're going to notice a little paintbrush icon that's going to be custom now i have another video ex you know pretty much showing step by step how i have mine set up i'm going to put out another video regarding my new setup because that one is a little old so keep your eyes out for that it's going to come after this video um but let's talk about the turbo trader Right, so I'm gonna pull up a few things here. One thing we're gonna need is a chart. Let's go ahead and pull that up here. Next thing we're gonna need is the actual options chain. We're gonna need that. Um, I, I have this options chain up to show you guys one thing. We're actually not gonna need it with the Turbo Trader, and this is a cool new feature. So for right now, we need a chart, need options. What else do we need here? We need Turbo Trader. So that's one version of the Turbo Trader. The other one is gonna call it Turbo Trader Options. This is the one that we're gonna dive into today. This is the Magic Johnson here. This is the one, not the two. This is absolutely amazing in every aspect. And for you guys that like using a price ladder, it is available here on Weeble, right? I'm gonna pretty much go over all of the execution types today in terms of what Weeble offers. From the regular Turbo Trader to the ladder, to the turbo active trader for options right there's other versions as well like you have the basic order entry don't use that um they have classic trade don't use that not very efficient right these are the main ones i specifically want to go over the turbo active trader today and the latter along with the regular turbo trader so let's get everything set up here so you guys can see how to maximize your experience here on weeble in terms of execution all right so we have three different forms of pretty much being able to execute here, right? Um, the chart here, you're probably wondering why it is. So the way that I have mine set up, right? I'm just gonna do a quick little setup here. Um, what I'll have is, sorry about that. Um, what I'll have is my watch list, right? So let me go find my watch list here. Let's pull this up. So what I'll have is my watch list, right? I'm gonna show you guys how efficient it is to get in and out of trades with Weeble, right? So um, we'll go to my daily watch list here. So daily watch list, pretty much only trade QQQs, fine SPX in this account. But so what I'm gonna do here is the chart I'm going to have on one, right? I have another video explaining why, but right now let's go ahead and get into this active trader situation. So we're gonna have the chart on one. We're going to have the watch list on one as well. Now, what we wanna do here is have everything else on S. So it changes with the chart and options. I mean, watch list, excuse me, right? So when I click on SPY, everything's going to change to SPY. When I check on QQQ, everything's going to change to QQQ, right? And that's the beautiful thing here. So if we click on SPX, everything changes. SPY, everything changes. So it's super efficient if you're trying to get in and out of multiple tickers, which I don't encourage, but you can, right? Now, what is the difference between the ladder, turbo trader, and the turbo options trader? This right here, this is the key. I absolutely love this. I fell in love with it. Right. So for those who don't know, a price ladder is essentially a visual. I'm going to say a visual active trader. Right. So if I click on an options contract here, let's say the 443 calls zero DTE. It's going to pull my contracts up here. I'm going to have the ability to put in a quantity. Let's say, for example, I want to buy 10. Right. Um, I can put in a limit order. I can also set a stop loss and take profit with one click. Right? This is the beautiful thing about Webull. No other brokerage offers this. You can literally press buy. And when you press buy, you can also have a stop loss and take profit implemented. Right? Say, for example, I want to set a 20% stop loss. I can also 
put a 40% take profit. So when you click buy here, as you can see on this uh, ladder to the right, it shows your estimate P&L to the upside, if you sell it 40%, it's gonna be 340, and your estimate loss here is gonna be 170. So you can see that before you even press buy. So you how, you'll know how much you're gonna make or how much you're gonna lose, and it automatically calculates it for you. But essentially what it is, is you're pinpointing where you wanna enter based on the price ladder. So if you wanna trade on the price ladder, you literally just click, right? So say for example, you wanna get filled on these contracts at 0.80. You're gonna go over to the green side here, you're gonna click 0.80 and there you go, your order will be placed, right? Obviously I'm not logged in, the market's not open right now, but that's what would happen, right? And you can see here, if I go over here and say, okay, I wanna sell, right? I put a sell limit, say for example, at 1.00, I'm already in the trade, I wanna sell these 10 contracts. You can go here, you can go above where the contract's currently trading, you can go all the way up to two if you wanted to, right? And you can put your sell order there, right? And of course you can move it, you can add it, you can move it around, you can do whatever you want with it, right? But this is very cool if you wanna take a couple moments and you know actually you know dissect where you want to enter, where you want to put your stop loss and stuff like that. Very, very cool. And like I said, it's one click, right? So you can say, for example, hey, I don't want to put a stop loss on this in terms of a percentage. I'm just going to watch the chart, but I do want to put a take profit. You can solely put a take profit here. If you just want to put a stop loss, you can just put a stop loss. If you want to do both, you can do both, right? But if you want to make sure you have a one click order, make sure the order confirmation is off because if it's on, when you click buy, it's gonna pull up an order confirmation and you don't want that, right? So make sure that's off. So that's the price ladder, right? Very cool. I wouldn't say effectiveness, I would probably rate higher efficiency. It's cause you gotta think about it, right? If I wanna get into a trade, say for example, QQQ, right? I click the, the watch list, I click my options chain 370 and then I have to click this, right? So that's, that's like a three step process. But say for example, right, I want to trade on the turbo trader it's essentially going to be the same thing except you have individual buttons right so if i'm sitting here and i'm going to enter say for example these 370 calls what i'm going to do is click qqq go to 370 and then boom it's going to highlight it i'm going to be able to get in right simple as that so this is what i personally use is the turbo trader and the turbo options trader that is what i use for when i'm trading this is honestly one of the quickest but this turbo trader is literally the options trader on steroids right so that's why i really like the turbo options trader which i'm about to get into one second and you can also go here to the turbo trader settings and what you're going to do first and foremost is remove the stocks right you don't want to have any hot keys for stocks unless you're trading equity right you want to make sure your hot key buttons are for options right so i'm going to want to have buy the ask i'm going to want to have sell the bid and if you want to do other things as well, you can. You can set up a buy market, you can buy bid, you can set up buy stop, right? So you can literally put a buy stop and you know your bid is an offset of 10% of the current price. Very, very cool, right? You can also put a sell stop, right? So if you want to get stopped out of a position, boom, there you go, rock out. You can also customize them, right? So if you go up here to the top, to the plus sign, you can go here, you can create your own hotkey. We'll say we bull video, right? And I want this to be for options. So I'm gonna go to the drop down menu, click options. I want this to be a, a buy side, right? So I wanna be able to click this and get in a position. So I'm gonna hit create, right? Now this is good to go. What I can do is I want it to be a limit order. How many contracts? Let's say 10. I wanna buy the ask, right? You don't have to worry about offset or anything like that. But one thing you do wanna worry about is have the, the price automatically adjusted rounding down right? So it'll get you filled at the best possible order. Now, if you're selling, right? If this is a sell order, you're going to want this to round up. So you get the best price possible. And just like the ladder, you can come here and you can create this one button to have a stop loss and take profit. So what that means is when you click this button here, right, that we just created, when you click buy, it'll have a stop loss and take profit already on there. So you could do like 20%, 40%, you can do 10%, 20%, or say for example, you don't want to stop loss, you just want to take profit, you can do that. Or you just want to stop loss, you don't want to take profit, you can do that. And if you want to create a hot key for this button, you can do so, right? Say for example, I want it to be Alt-C. There we go. So if I hit on my keyboard, Alt-C, this button will execute, right? And I can pull that up there. I can, you know, put a customized one. You can do whatever you want, right? This is completely customizable to you. And this is the beautiful thing about Weeble. Um, lastly, turbo options 
trader, right? What this is, is this is essentially a options chain and an active trader in one. So what we can do, remove the options, remove the turbo trader. You can keep the ladder if you want. I personally do, right? But we just removed two things from our screen and it's combined in one. Now, the crazy thing about this is you can get super in depth, right? So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because it deserves it, right? I'm gonna move this over here, make this a little bit bigger for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and check this out, all right? So like I said, this is essentially an options chain and active trader in one. So you remove two widgets that you didn't need for one, right? So if you come here, this is a turbo options trader. It's essentially the turbo trader with the options chain, right? Up here, we're gonna have our options chain, right? But the super cool thing about this is you can adjust the expiration here. So if you wanna trade zero DTEs, today is September 18th, I can do that. If I wanna trade one DTEs, awesome. From now on, all the contracts will be one DTEs. If I wanna trade next week, awesome. I can do that, all contracts will be next week. That's all within one click. You don't have to go to options chain. You don't have to go back to after trader. Everything is right here in front of you, right? If you only wanna see calls, you can do that. If you only wanna see puts, you can do that. If you want to see both, you can do that. Now, the super cool thing here that I really love is a lot of times new traders struggle with selecting liquid options contracts, right? So what I like to do is, or what I personally did is, I like trading contracts between the dollar and $2.50 range. So what you can do is, is go here and filter contracts that are outside of that range. So I can put 1.00 to say, for example, 3.00. It's only going to show me contracts that are within that price. So now for you new traders that struggle with contract selection and you don't even know what contracts have volume, right? How do I know what contracts have volume? Watch this, go to filters, go to volume, guess what? Go here and you can input a value in terms of volume, right? So you can literally go here and filter it and we will, will select the liquidest options change possible based off of your filter. Right? Say, for example, I only want to see contracts above 10,000, right? Oh, excuse me. This is in a, um, it's times 100. So there we go, right? So 1,000, essentially 10,000, right? So now it filtered all of those for me immediately, right? And also on this options chain here, you can slide this over or you can make this longer here and you can see the IV, open interest, delta, gamma, theta, whatever you want. And you can go here if you don't want to see all that stuff, which I don't really care about. I'm a day trader, right? I can remove that. So I can go here and say, okay, I don't want to see the mid. Uh, I want to see the IV. Don't care about the open interest, delta, gamma, theta, don't care. So I just filter this out and I'm only looking at what I want to look at, right? So I remove two widgets and I have the ability to do everything I want to do here. You don't even need a positions tab or working orders tab. Why? Because it's already here right? And the super cool thing about this is, check this out, you guys. You can literally go here, right? These are the hotkeys on how you're going to get in and out, right? So say, for example, I click spy. If I want to get into a contract, all I do is click it. It lights up. You're good to go. If I want to buy a put, click it. Lights up. You're good to go. Make sure, once again, you have the order confirmation off. That's important if you want to get in and out as fast as possible. But this is beautiful. It doesn't get better than this. It does not. Right? This is absolutely amazing for us. I've been using Webull for over three years now, and they've done nothing but actively better the platform in every aspect. All right, so just a little gist of what I've covered in terms of the Turbo's uh, options trader, right? What you do is you can move your option chain, you can move your Turbo trader, you come here, you can filter in terms of the price that you would like, contracts that you're comfortable trading based off of your account side or just comfortability. You can go here and select your expiration, calls or puts, see what contract uh, price you want to trade. You can add the volume. You can even do more filters than that. You can go look for present change. You can go look at the ask, last, whatever you want, right? And a super cool thing is, say for example, I want to buy these 442 calls. Let's say I want to buy market. I can do that. Let's say I want to sell the ask. I can do that. Let's say for example, I want to buy the bid. I can do that. Let's say I want to sell the bid. I can do that. And you can have them different, right? So say for example, I want to buy the ask and sell the ask. I can do that. Say, for example, I want to do a manual input. I can do that. Say, for example, I want to buy 1.45. I can do that. And on the way out, I want to sell at 4.00. I can do that. Super 
super super effective super super efficient this is probably one of my favorites updates they have done this is absolutely amazing for us i've been using it for pretty much the past three or four trading days and i love it absolutely love it paired with the ladder and you are absolutely golden right because essentially it's doing all the work for you all i have to do is click a stock on my watch list it routes it to the turbo options trader everything's ready to go i know what contracts i'm selecting they're already here they're already filtered my contracts are ready to go so if I want to trade a stock, what do I do? Click it, click, I'm in. How long did that take me? Two seconds. Say, for example, I want to trade something else. Click it. Oh, sorry, they're not loaded after hours. We'll do QQQ again. So I click it, boom, in. Spy, click it, boom, in. Right? That's simple. But um, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm going to come out with a, a new setup video, right? This was focused towards Active Trader, Turbo Trader, and the options um, Turbo Trader. But um, I have changed my Webull setup around a ton, so I'm going to get that video out as well ASAP. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I plan on also doing a video on the cash management feature in terms of Webull. They are literally giving you a free 5% a year. No subscription, no fees, no nothing. Just open an account, deposit money, and you are golden. I personally have well over six figures in account, and as long as it's settled at the end of the day, you earn 5% on it right? And it's accrued daily. So you literally see it paid out daily in your account. I plan on doing a, a video on that. Even if you don't trade on Webull, my recommendation to you would be open account, put whatever capital you can afford in it and let it accrue interest every single day. Like why not? If you're sitting in your bank, you might get 1% or 2%. They're offering five, no fees, no strings attached. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys know my stance with Webull, man. I absolutely love it. It's a one-stop shop. And um, yeah, I can come here, I can go look at my watch list, I can pull up a big chart, I can go to the market, see everything from economic data. So they just added this feature as well. I can look at economic data, I can look at big economic events, I can go look at earnings, IPOs, splits, news, popular stocks, active, top options traded, total positions, position increase, decrease, so much is going on here. And the new setup video I'm going to come out with, I'm going to try to have it posted by Friday. It's going to cover all of this, you guys. It's going to be an absolutely insane video. It's going to be a lot longer than this. Honestly, I didn't intend this to be this long. I wanted to keep this short because um, I know you guys like when I get straight to the point. But sorry, you guys, for the lengthy video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, man. Much love. Y'all have a great day. Peace.